my name is Katherine Haggerty. I am the co-founder of New York City Crick Club, as well as faculty and the current director of the program. I'm an occasional curator, an occasional writer, a painter based in Brooklyn, and I am a part-time lecturer at the School of Visual Arts in Manhattan. I'm really excited for this fall. We have so many great courses planned and built for the program. Uh, a unique thing that we're doing this fall is I'm offering a few courses where two people will be leading um, the, the class run. And this fall, I am so excited to introduce my co-teacher for the group crit. Hi, I'm Zahar Vox. I am a painter based in Brooklyn. I'm also the co-director and curator at Ortega Gasset Projects. I teach, and most recently I did the uh, artist in residency program at University of Tennessee, Knoxville, where a lot of the things that I'll be talking about were beautifully formed. Yes. I chose to co-teach with Sahar because I've known Sahar for many, many years. We were both co-directors of Ortegi Gasset for um, a crossover three and a half years together. Had a lot of fun. Studio mates. Curated a show with Rose Nestler, <laughs> who is currently faculty within NYC Crick Club. Um, I really respect Sahar, Sahar's practice, his thinking, um, and the way he approaches life in general. So I thought it would be fun to co-teach. Again, this is not something that can always be done, but I thought we should do it. So our course is going to be held on Wednesdays. Um, the course title is called Material, Alchemy, and Empathy. It's a group critique course that lasts eight weeks long. The class maximum capacity is 12 people, 12 artists. The class will be held in the New York City Crick Club studio on Wednesday evenings from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern. Um, the studio is off the Morgan L. It's a beautiful 500 square foot sun-drenched studio with giant walls and plenty of room to hang and work. The course is ambitious. We are going to offer um, written verbal feedback, dialogue about art practice, dialogue about shows to see, and of course, you know, as many frequently asked questions as possible that we observe. Um, we titled this course Material Alchemy and Empathy after a long time of talking and discussing this summer. So my first question for you, Zahar, is what is material to you? To me, material is oxidized cherry juice, clove oil, silk, pigment, and turmeric. That's a good lineup. What about for you? What is uh, What do you think of when you think of alchemy? I think alchemy is magic. I think alchemy is finding. Alchemy is risk. Alchemy is hope. Alchemy is quiet. Mm. Alchemy is light, it's rock, it's sticks, it's patience. So Har, what about empathy? What do you think of when you think about empathy? I, don't, I would also say patience, kindness, listening, feeling, I'd say respect, generosity. Perfect. The title of this course reflects our ethos and both of our practices, but something that we really wanna expand on in this new group critique course that we're offering. Um, so her and I both wanted to make this course about more than just getting feedback on your work. Finding really specific departure points for our conversation is important. It's important for us. It's also important for all of you to who take the class to potentially expand your horizons on what you think your work is doing, where it can go, and where it is. Mm. We're going to talk about a lot of things, but some things in this course that we're going to get to are material narrative and subject narrative. Are they similar? Are they different? How can they coincide? And how can we discern what matters most for you? Because that's what matters most. Another thing we'll talk about at length, I guarantee every class, is specificity and ambiguity within your work. Mm -hmm. Is it open? Is it closed? Why does it need to be either? Does it need to be either? These are ideas within your work and ours that we'll talk about openly in the class. So specificity, ambiguity, openness as a medium, as a subject, and um, as process. We'll also explore the duality of artistic fluency in process, material, and subject. Really quickly, Zahar, when you say duality and fluency, what do you think that means for you? For me, again, for me, it means holding something that you do that you might be a novice, a beginner in, something that maybe is more personal. For me, it's playing the violin mm -hmm. while having a consistent painting practice that one has been developing over years and how we can pay attention to certain moments that we can learn from being novice and then apply to the thing that we are consistently growing. In. Right, or crafted in or crafted something in. like this. 
Um, something that we talk about a lot is that finding one's own voice or one's own um, kind of subjecthood or subjectivity or process in art, be it painting, collage, uh, installation, video, sculpture, or design, is that a lot of the things that are rich about your voice are the things that are so idiosyncratically you. So when Zahar says the duality of artistic fluency, I'm talking about the fact that you know, maybe one person can cross hatch until, you know, forever and make the most beautiful Albert Durer like uh, lines, but they are feeling lost with their level of subjectivity and what to pay attention to. Um, finding that direction, pointing back to your own personal narrative is I think one of the biggest jobs of the artist um, and finding that fluency, understanding that your perceived insecurities are actually your strengths and that your strengths are still your strengths. and. Overall, this course will be really positive, constructive, and generous. Um, both of us want everyone to feel like it's a safe space. The first day of class, we're going to have snacks. We're going to have violin. We're going to have presentations on art. We're going to have discussions on art and expectations. And what's also special about this class is that um, we're going to have two voices that might not always agree, but of course, we'll respectfully do so. And all of you will provide, of course, your wonderful input. Um, we're going to let artists in this course curate the kind of critique they'd like from a customized menu that we're going to build for you. Um, we've been both teaching for a long, long time at all different levels. And I think one thing we want to do is make sure that this process for everyone in their crit and their critiques is as special, specified, specified as possible for what they need in the moment. So we'll make you a menu and you choose. Yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, enrollment is open, as we said. Uh, the class runs Wednesday from 7 to 9 p.m. in person, live for sure. Um, that is so exciting to get back to feeling like um, a sense of normalcy, and this class is going to be really fun. So sign up soon and tell your friends. You'll feel alive when we go live. Exactly. Dad jokes, just expect them the whole time. Uh, drop in jump shots and jump shots. at the same time. <laughs> All right, everyone, we're signing off. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.